Hey everyone, it's Ian and welcome back. Here's the final video for the HBA or High Beam Assist installation, where we'll finally get to see how this tiny module gets all of what's been installed so far. So removing the broken rear view mirror, upgrading to HBA rear view mirror, removing the airbag, steering wheel and changing the indicator stalks to get your high beams activating automatically. So all of this work finally comes together. So there's a lot to show you in this video. So let's jump right in and see how this FLA module or Fernlicht Assist module works. Now, one of the first things that need to be done is changing the steering wheel control module for a 1K unit. And you'll see why in a second. But first I'll just show you quickly after you've removed the steering wheel, how to remove the steering wheel control module. You want to stick a little uh, Allen key or something really thin. It's got to be about two mil across, no bigger than that. And you're able to unlatch one of the hooks that fasten the steering wheel control module onto the base of your steering wheel. So you can see here, there's that first little latch in the front, but you've got to push on with the tool. And then there's another one in the rear there as well. Once those have been released, there's a yellow and black plug to undo. Once everything's installed again, fire up VCDS where you're going to want to log into the steering wheel control module and activate the second value that you can see there for special vehicles. It doesn't matter which one, just as long as you've activated and coded in the special purpose vehicle. Now we're finally able to access the FLA module, which is the module called 3D Special Functions. First, just delete any codes that you might have stored. Then you're able to go into the coding section, click into long coding, and you can see all of the functions that the FLA has to offer. So there's quite a lot of different functions here and I did need to reach out to the developer of this unit in order to get an understanding of what everything is. So luckily he was able to pass over a document which helps to explain everything quite nicely and I've translated that to English. I've linked that document into the description below so that if you guys want to see all of the different functions because I kind of whiz past through them here, you're able to read up about them in that document which is down in the description below. So check out all of these awesome functions that the FLA has to offer. Now that everything's installed and reconfigured, we just have to wait for the perfect setting, which is nighttime. Now that it's nice and dark, I can demo the HBA function. So to make it nice and easy to identify when they're turning on by themselves, I'm putting this icon up on the screen and you can also see that it's active in the dash as well. So remember here that whenever these are turning on or off, I'm not pressing anything. So this is all being done by the automatic sensor in the HBA mirror unit that I installed in the video that you watched previously. So here we go again, I'll just let you watch how it works. Now this deactivation is a little bit weird. I don't know why it turned off, but then it comes back on by itself again here. Now that I've caught up with the car in front of me, the HBA is not going to activate. So I'm just going to pull over here real quick and wait for the road to clear up again. Now that you've seen how HBA works without having to touch anything on the car, I'm going to give you some of the bad points of this FLA module and you can see a bunch of errors have shown up on my instrument cluster. Now one of the biggest issues is the airbag in the steering wheel isn't functioning properly. I've got an error for the second igniter and this is the reason why. So you can see on the left that there is the Audi steering wheel control module internals and on the right is the 1K steering wheel control module which I got from a Mark 6 Golf. And there are two pins missing on this 1K replacement which allows the functioning of FLA module to be working properly. However, because of these two missing pins, the second stage airbag isn't being read properly. 
Some other issues that I've found is that the steering wheel controls don't function anymore and the flappy paddles have a funny setting on them now that when I press the right button down too long, it activates the high beam. Other than that, the FLA module works well in order to get HBA working without having to change over to the BCM control module. So that's everything you need to do in order to upgrade your rear view mirror to the HBA unit. You can either use this FLA module that lets you shortcut into getting this working, although there are some things that don't function too well, especially on the Audi. Using this FLA module will probably work a lot better on a Golf, on a Skoda that uh, already has the correct steering wheel control module and compatible steering wheel in order to have all functions working. So what I'll probably do from here on is I'll need to install the uh, proper BCM control module. So upgrading from CCM to BCM, which is going to take a lot more work, but at least I'll have functionality of everything back again and without a whole bunch of errors. So thank you guys again for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this Audi TT Mark II mod. We finally got there with the HPA High Beam Assist Review Mirror Upgrade. There was a few steps to it, but we got there in the end. Really appreciate you guys sticking around. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you press that like button and I'll see you next time.